Hi everybody on the YouTube. We're going to do two things today. Firstly, I'm going to show you what I think are the best settings for GTX 980 in Forza Horizon 3 on the PC. And after that, I thought it would be a, a nice idea to see how OBS Classic, uh, OBS Studio, and also XSplit compare to each other when you're recording your gameplays. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get to it. So the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is what I think are the best settings in Forza Horizon 3 on a PC. And this is the PC version. Uh, we're going into the, uh, the settings video. Of course, uh, frame rate is unlocked because you want to get as much frames as possible. Dynamic optimization is off. And then I go to the advanced tab. And I pretty much have everything on medium. Whatever can be on medium. And MSAA at two times, FXA on, then anastropic 16 and shadow low. Uh, you know, this gives me the most amount of FPS in the game while also not not stuttered the entire time and I know that medium is probably not what you wanted to see I'm also quite kind of you know disappointed that this game is not like optimized to the degree where you can like play it on high or ultra you know high and ultra do look a little better um, but you know to be honest here um, if you look at this, you know, th these are medium settings right now. The game still looks fine. You know, so... Sure, you have to, like, have a compromise between you know, the graphics settings and FPS. You know, and I think medium is still fine. You know, it still looks good, so... I think, I think that uh, are the best... Uh, settings for a GTX 980 right now and I think uh, the, the problem pretty much is is that this game is running in in DirectX X12 you know DX12 is is not perfect yet you know it's not that 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 great yet you know I would have loved it is if this game was like brought out in DX11 this is unfortunately not the case so as it stands now, I think these are the best options. So this next part of the video is a comparison between OBS Classic, which are, which I'm, I think you guys see right now, OBS Studio and XSplit. Uh, what I what I have done is I've pretty much uh, got the settings that you would use when you start streaming to Twitch or uh, streaming to YouTube. Um, it's you know, pretty much the same settings that I would use to record my videos, uh, which means 720p. Uh, you can see the amount of bitrate below here, twelve and a half thousand, so 12 Mbit pretty much. Um, very fast preset. You know, I can I can even show you that uh, right here right now really quickly. Uh, encoding, x264, uh, 12 and a half, very fast main, uh, two keyframe interval right here. So these these are pretty much the settings I would always use to record my videos. Uh, and what I'm about to show you now is a recording of a race that I did in my 4GT on Forza, Forza Horizon 3. And we're going to show how OBS did. So okay, this is the recording from OBS. This is a race called the Jungle Speedway Sprint. I'm going to start the clip right now. We're gonna let it, you know, play out, and you know you can see the performance and and you know how OBS did. And as you can see here, I'm not really reaching the 60 FPS even on the medium settings, which is not that good. I mean, the thing you can also see here is I think it's because of the high bit rate. Um, OBS is stuttering a little bit every now and again I think that will happen uh, a little bit yeah here exactly so 
You know, every time, like every couple of seconds, pretty much, OBS just, you know, stops. And I think it waits for information or something, and then it just, like, here it happens again. Um, so that's not, that's not great, you know, if, you, if you're you know, using this on a daily basis to record your videos, you know, and, and, you know, especially in Forza Horizon 3, it's probably not the best way to go. Because this is very, very choppy. And I think that is not, that's not great. You know, and the settings are not even 1080p or something like that, so... I don't, I don't really know why it is doing this. Uh, but we're gonna let the uh, race play out here. And it will probably lock up once more, maybe twice. During this last uh, piece here. Uh, you know, and I'm su surprised that this even happens. Because I didn't know. Um, I've also not been able to find an answer why this actually happens. You know, it might be the bit rate, might be the quality settings. I don't, I don't know. Um, but, you know, it happens. And that's, uh, that's a pity. It's a pity that it happens. So that was the gameplay with OBS Classic. So it's it's the next day, and for for some reason, after I uh, recorded um, with OBS Classic, um, OBS Classic just for some unexplainable reason just is not able to get like um, 60 FPS anymore. Whenever I have the preview window turned on. Um, I do think that is very weird. Um, it might be because of my system, might be because of a Windows 10 update, might be Windows 10 in general that doesn't really work t all too well with um, OBS Classic. Um, but before this I didn't have that issue. Um, but to solve that issue we have something like OBS Studio. Now, in Ascension, OBS Studio is, of course, like, like essentially pretty much the same as OBS, OBS Classic. Um, you know, you, you got your scenes. They did add in uh, the ability to have uh, audio tracks separated from each other. And in OBS Classic, you can only turn the sound on or off. And in OBS Studio, you can actually decide what needs to be on and off at which times, which can be beneficial if you're you know, into that. Um, you know, if you go into settings here and uh, go to output, you have a streaming tab. Uh, this is the streaming settings that I always use to, to stream to Twitch. And this is the recording tab. And as you can see here, I've got 25,000, which I will change to 12,500 for the sake of this video and this test. Uh, I had the preset set to faster, change that to very fast, change that to, to main again change this to two so you, you can see that I'm doing this live uh, on recording um, so we're going to see what, what OBS Studio uh, for quality has compared to OBS Classic so we're back here Jungle Speedway Sprint this will be a live review of this footage we have not seen it yet um, but this is uh, OBS uh, Studio, 12 and a half Mbit, same quality as uh, I used in OBS Classic, same settings as you saw. Um, and I, I do have to note that this version of uh, Forza Horizon 3 for the PC is a newer version um, than what I have been using previously. And they managed to fix some of the uh, stuttering issues that were, I think, CPU bound. Uh, they managed to fix that, actually. So, um, the, the game's not stuttering anymore. Um, uh, so, I think the gameplay might actually uh, seem a little bit smoother uh, than the previous build that I used. But as you can see, there was a stutter right there. That was very interesting. So, let, let's see how this... Uh, footage here 
is going on. I think I think uh, OBS Studio here has proven itself to be a worthy like like successor to OBS Classic. And the fact that you know it's not stuttering as bad as OBS Classic was doing. And you know I actually have the preview window opened up while also recording this. Normally I couldn't I couldn't do that uh, with OBS Classic, so that makes OBS Studio uh, a lot better than, than OBS Classic in that in that regard. Um, I do have to say that they you know updated the game, so they, they changed a couple of things. But you know it looks good, it looks good. Okay, so that was that was OBS Studio. Last up is XSplit right here. You know, an XSplit has something very, uh, very interesting. It has local recording here uh, with output, but then when you go into it, you can't set the ambit. You can't do it. You can add a couple of uh, comments here, of, of commands or whatever you want to call them. I think they're called parameters. You know, that's fine. I even put the parameter target uh, kilobytes per second at twelve and a half thousand, which would be twelve Mbit. But then again, it's not doing it. It's not actually doing anything with it. Um, so what I have done is I have clicked the optimize for YouTube button, and then what it does is also put it at that twelve Mbit mark that YouTube uh, wants a sixty FPS uh, video to be. Uh, at least if you uh, record it in 1080p, for 720p it's even lower, but, you know, 12 Mbit is what I want, so uh, that is what this option uh, lets the video do, so we're going to look at the, the results. We're back here, Jungle Speedway Sprint, you can see this has been recorded with XSplit. Um, you know, and I think that um, XSplit here, you know, is, is similar to OBS Studio in the fact that you can't really set the quality as you would like to. But then again, I think that the preset of the X264 uh, encoder is a little bit better in, in XSplit than it is in, in OBS, and it, you know, it's fine. It's okay. Uh, but I think I still prefer OBS Classic for being able to put in the quality manually but again you know XSplit does look good I think XSplit has like some something in it which allows it to adapt to the computer a little bit better um, and thus like having a, a better you know viewing experience you know which is fine but you could definitely see that the quality is uh, you know a little bit worse than uh, OBS Classic is, but you know there are no stutters, and I do think that the quality is a little bit better than OBS Studio. We're gonna let the race run out here. It takes a takes a minute to let it go to the end. Uh, you can also see the the FPS in the top right corner as well. And do keep in mind that the FPS is a little bit higher when I'm not recording, of course. Um, because, you know, the CPU has to calculate everything and, and you know, record everything by, by its own. So it has to do two things at once. But, you know, you, you, can, you can compare those, those FPS if you would like to. And here's where the race ends. There we go.
Okay, to, to, to sum this all up, um, I've, I've shown you guys OBS Classic, OBS Studio, and, and XSplit next to each other even. Um, now I have to say, um, the end of life has, has come to uh, OBS Classic. Uh, the, the program for some reason does not work or is not fully supported in Windows 10. Um, and, and thus sometimes weird things can happen. For instance, like what I have when I when I look at my preview window, I see, see that the FPS keeps dropping. Uh, OBS Studio, on the other hand, does not have that issue. I can I can still look at the live preview window while maintaining the the 60 FPS that I want to see. Um, so so I can't I I can't use OBS Classic anymore, unfortunately. Um, and I will be stepping over to to OBS Studio for for all my future recordings uh, because it doesn't have that that problem which I have been struggling with uh, for, the, for the last couple of months you know and then, then you of course have, have XSplit which is a I think a worthy competitor to uh, to OBS Studio here um, I think that they both are, are great recording softwares and you know XSplit actually has this this ability to, to have um, to, to adapt to the computer a little bit better there are also a couple of things built into to XSplit to like support the use of a webcam to, to hardware, accel hardware accelerate that um, you know to use anti-aliasing on the scene that you're seeing you know little little tweaks and little things like like that um, you know the, the thing with the XSplit is that you know you have to pay for it if you really want to Want to, want to use it otherwise you have to use it with a water a watermark um, you know it's whatever yeah, whatever you like of course I mean the price of XSplit is not it's not that that big it's like three euros per month for an entire year or something um, so it's, it's not that big of, of a cost but you know OBS Studio is free and works works fine as well so um, you know it's whatever you like to, to, to use um, and hopefully, by, by, by watching my video, you uh, have been able to see what the differences are between uh, the, the three most popular programs. Uh, you know, and hopefully this, this helped you out. Um, if it did, then, you know, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Also, subscribe uh, for more videos, because I will uh, be playing so, some more games in the future, like... like you know, Battlefield 1 is coming up very, very soon. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Six room, oh crap. There we go. I done it. What the hell have I done? I lost my teleport card though. That's not good.